Hello everybody, welcome back to Mystic Island's trading card game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, today we're going to be going over all of the information that you need to know um, on my trading cards. So basically, there's going to probably be three videos. One going over the information on the cards, which is the one you clicked on right now. Uh, there's going to be one going, uh, going to be talking about the basic rules of the game. And then one will be a... Uh, combat rules for the game basically i'm going to break it up into three sections so this isn't like a 40 minute long video you know uh, no one wants to watch a 40 minute long video anymore anyway so basically i'm going to go over the four types of cards that are going to be in my game um one of them is still being play tested and it's not like fully printed yet or anything like that so i'm not going to show it or explain it yet until it comes out it'll be a big reveal type thing so the first thing the most important thing you need in the game is this chaos crystals now this is basically your resources in the game this is what you use to do everything in the game and uh, everyone starts with 15 of them um each player starts with 15 and this is basically the resources you use in the game comparable to uh, mana or land for magic and like pokemon uh, has what do they have energy cards i believe um it's similar to that type of uh, idea uh, leaning more towards magic but the way you get them is a little bit different, so I'll explain those a little later. The next type of card is the creature card. Now, this is your, this, the main way you're going to deal damage to your opponent and uh, win the game, basically. Cards just like this. I'm going to be showing you everything that's on here in a second in more detail. Um, my camera's not the greatest, so I'm going to be showing it to you digitally. Uh, and then right here is an ability card. Now, this is basically a spell uh, like in Magic the Gathering, or they might have those in Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm not even sure. I haven't really played Yu-Gi-Oh much. Probably should. But this is uh, basically like an instant slash spell in Magic the Gathering. Um, I'll explain how that works in a minute. And, uh, alright, so... What we're going to get going on with first is the Chaos Crystals, just a basic card. Um, it's just like a basic land stuff like that and the way you get it is you actually pick them up every turn um i'm not going to get too much into that but uh basically all you need to know for right now is that is the card that you use to pay for everything else so we're going to start with the creature cards here um the creature cards are probably the most important cards in the game for dealing damage to your opponent and trying to win the game so basically this um is how it's going to be broken down here so we're going to start with the most obvious thing, uh, the artwork right here. The artwork is just in the middle of the card. Um, it has no inherent like value to the card. It just, um, you know, it's just something cool to look at, give you an idea to, uh, as of like what this creature is, what this human is, uh, what this card is, basically, you know, everyone knows that. Um, the next thing here is up here. The first thing up here is just the name of the card primary foot soldier just the name of the card nothing more nothing less to that that's all it is right below that it'll say royalty faction if it's a creature if it's an ability as you'll see it'll say i'm using this forbidden spell as a reference here it'll say neutral ability so it whatever comes first is always the whatever comes first is always the faction and then it'll tell you next uh what it is so if it says faction it is a creature card if it says ability it is an ability card um i could probably change the, it to say royalty creature but uh i'll figure that out in the future so so if it says royalty faction it's a royalty creature if it is a royalty ability it's an ability card um the color around the top and around the card here is blue for the royalty and that is just their color you know it's just another symbol to tell you it's a royalty faction card it says it basically three places on the card it says it right here um where it says royalty faction the color of the card obviously and then up here next to this number in the top right above it it has a crown and that is actually the symbol for the royalty faction and so it's a little overdone there but i think it is a nice design choice and it's basically there for aesthetics it doesn't really do anything else um the number right below that symbol is actually how many chaos crystals this card costs so primary foot soldier for example costs one chaos crystal to play and uh, that's it so he costs one chaos crystal to play 
Now we're going to look at the neutral ability card and ability cards work the same way. Um, as you can see, this is a neutral, so it has no inherent um, faction to go with. It can go with any of them. So it doesn't have a symbol there, but it still has the number. So it costs two chaos crystals. Okay. We're going to swap. Uh, swap back over to the primary foot soldier and we're gonna look at the numbers in the left over here on this left part of the text box They're divided into two little boxes and the first one the one on top is the attack number and the one on the bottom is the defense number So to simplify this a little bit primary foot soldier has he can do one damage to an opponent, right? and he can take one damage before dying We'll understand that a little bit more once you watch the uh, combat video that I'm going to be coming up with soon. Uh, we're going to swap all the way down to the bottom of the card for things that aren't too uh, exciting. Right here at the bottom of the card, it has the artwork and it gives um, just props to whoever uh, drew the artwork and whoever came up with the concept of the card. And uh, all the way to the right, same little area there. The number on top is actually the number it was created um, in the set so basically uh, primary foot soldier is number 17 it was the 17th create card that I ever made uh, 17th one I ever made basically and then below that is the year that the card was actually created and it says 2019 I know we are in 2020 but uh, I'm just gonna release this set uh, with the number 2019 on it it's okay we'll just skip a year if uh, the next set comes out in 2021 so I guess we'll just see um, but for right now, the last little bit of the card is the text box now. It's this big box over here to the right. And uh, basically what it is, is it it has very important information. So it usually it is unique to each type of card that you have. Sometimes, sometimes not. And uh, basically it'll tell you in this big text here um, what exactly to do. Or it'll just give you instructions. So it says when this card enters the battlefield, you gain one health. So as soon as you would play it and enter the battlefield, you gain one health. You just do what it says, and it's just a one-time thing, unless it says to repeat it. Um, right below that, there is a little, a little quote, I guess you could say, down here. And uh, this is nothing at all. This is just flavor text, and you can completely ignore it if you like, or read it if you like to uh, maybe learn about the card a little bit more, if you're a little bit more invested into it. So nothing really much there, just a little bit of um, you know, flavor text, as they say. And then all the way at the bottom right here, I may be moving this symbol, but for right now, this is the set symbol. And this is actually how you tell rarity. So if the set symbol is black, it is a common card. If it is blue, it is an uncommon card. If it's red, it's a rare card. And if it's yellow, and if it's yellow, it's a leader card, which I forgot to mention earlier. Sorry about that. Uh, that's the um, card that's in basically beta testing now. So I'll come out with that a little bit later. Um, so essentially how it works is you can only have four commons in a deck um, with the same name, of course. So in, in this deck, let's say I have primary foot soldier. I'm running a royalty faction deck because he is a common. I can run four of that same card. So I can have four primary foot soldiers in my deck. And let's say I also have forbidden spell. Um, it is a common, so I can have four forbidden spells in my deck. Now let's say Forbidden Spell was an uncommon, I can actually only run three in that deck. Doesn't mean that you can only run four commons in the entire deck, it's just four of that specific card that you would like to play. All right, and then uh, for uncommons, you can only have three in a deck, I think I already said that. Um, for rares, you can only have two, and leaders, only one. So basically from uncommon to leaders, it just keeps going down by one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys do like my game. I'm going to have more rule videos coming up in the future very, very soon. As soon as I can, actually. Um, because, obviously, you guys need to know how to play the game to get invested in it. And, uh, you know, it's just how it works. So, hopefully you guys do understand this video. Um, and do understand everything that I said. If not, I can make a clarifying video or answer any of your questions in the comment section down below. So, let me know if anything is confusing. And uh, I'm going to... See you guys in the next video. Peace out.